Welcome back folks. This is part four of this series. So we are, we've got everything done and we'll be wiring the sub panel today. So make sure you like this video, subscribe down below, stay tuned and enjoy. So we've got the wires run, we've got all the outlets wired up, um, all the wires are run to the panel. So now it's just a matter of wiring up the, the panel itself. So um, I'll show you here. All the wires are run to the panel and I've already snapped in the breakers. I've got two 15s and two 20s. Um, and basically first thing you want to do when you're looking at the panel is basically look at your wires and kind of just figure out an idea of where you're going to run everything. So you're going to have your hot wires which need to go into the bottom of the breaker. Uh, your your neutrals, your whites into the neutral bar there, and your ground um, ground bar right there. So the other thing I should mention is I've turned off the um, the breaker at the house, so there's no power coming in. Um, you always want to make sure that there's no live power because that would not be good if you're working on the on the sub panel. So, um, anyways, what's uh, I'll show you I'll show you the breakers here in a second, and then uh, we'll get to it. So I'll show you the breakers here. These are square D um, breakers. It's on a Schneider panel, but uh, essentially the bottom, this clips onto the bottom, which is like a plastic bar right there. And then the top clips around that uh, metal piece right there. So I'll try to show you here while I'm holding the camera. It's basically a, bottom goes in first and then you basically just push that and that didn't uh, it's in there you should hear it kind of clip in but so there you go so the breakers are in um, we'll get to wiring wires are stripped um, so now I can start hooking things up so I'm gonna start with grounds um, and work all four grounds over the ground bar um, and then I'll probably do all the neutrals and then I'll do all the hots so um, so I'll probably run since the ground bar is down here I'll probably run everything down this side get those all in place and then what I'll do is the neutrals all just have to go to this neutral bar and then the hots um, to your breakers so I'll probably run two hots down to these two and two hots down to these two so two on either side
So I got all my grounds kind of in place. You can see how I've bent them. I've got them routing along the left hand side of the panel. Um, and I've got one screwed in right now, so that's the first one. Um, and I'll kind of use my pliers and I'll try to straighten it out and make it kind of neat. Get that one completely in place and then the rest of them will be kind of, I guess, based off of that. And I'll kind of get them screwed in and then kind of clean them up and just make it look neat and tidy. So um, that's basically what I'm doing now. Okay, so we got all the neutral wires in, so now it's just the hot wires. Um, so I'll show you here, you can see all the neutrals 
coming in on that top bar. So now the hots, so four hots. I'm gonna run these two down around this side. Um, and those correspond with the 215 breakers and then the 220 breakers, those are the last two wires I put in for the close outlets. So they'll run down this side and over and up. Um, try to make it as neat as possible. But so let's get that done and then we're good to go and we can test it out. Okay, so there you have it. All the wires are now connected to the panel. So you can see my hot wires, I basically just split them, two on either side, coming around into the bottom there. And I've tightened up the breakers. Um, I'm gonna go through and do one more check before I test, um, make sure everything's tight and good to go. And um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll give her a test here shortly. Okay, so now we've got all the, all the everything wired, um, panel's all done. So literally this is the first time flicking on the breakers um, and we'll see if there's power to the outlets. Everything should be fine, but uh, so here we go. So, so you can see we got the green light so uh, yeah I just had to hit the reset button but um, should have power check uh, the other ones here So no light. So there we go, hit the reset and uh, I think we should be good. I'm guessing that you gotta do this at each one. Yep.
don't know why you'd have to do this, but I'm guessing just the first start up. There you go. So all six outlets appear to have the green light. Um, I'll probably plug in a light or something here shortly. And uh, actually I'll do that now and we'll see, uh, just make sure that each one has power. So. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, I tested three of the outlets. I'm not gonna bother with the other three. Um, but anyways, yeah, so that's that's that. Um, that's how you wire a, a barn slash shed. So anyways, um, thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video. Hit subscribe down below and uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll see you next time.